Mr. Goldman, I look forward to meeting you. Would that my circumstances were different, but I'm afraid I'm not allowed to play. The gentleman in white told me it was no good. Took away my toys. Ron, Ron, Ron. You put both your hands out, scales, each hand's a scale, you put life on one hand, and shit in the other, and you go and you smash them together, Ron, you smash them together, like a bagel sandwich, a it's back home, Grandpa's got you in a dress. Boy, there's such sights to show you. <laughs> Come on home, Ronnie, I'll show you. I'll show you how to play baseball like Ellis Burks. Burke. Ellis Burke. Jim Rice. I could show you how to play like Jerry Remy, Ron. And if you can play like that, you could be a hero. A hero, Ronnie. A big white, big white fucking hero. Come on home and sing the national anthem with me, Ronnie. Fold that flag into a million pieces. Perhaps in some other plane of existence, we could be friends, colleagues. I wait your arrival. Fly away, Ron. Fly away to hell. The story you're about to hear is based on actual events that occurred between the summers of 1988 and 1989 at the Hither Hills Maximum Security Mental Institution on Gartner's Island, New York. This is a tale of one of the most diabolical and insane criminal masterminds of the modern age. It is not a tale for children or the faint of heart. It is a tale that plumbs the depths of the subconscious. It is a tale that strips away and destroys. A tale of depravity so boundless that it annihilates the very fabric of humanity. No matter how bizarre or implausible the details may seem, know that they are real. The characters are few, but important. First, there's Dr. Denro White, administrator of the island facility. A good, noble man, well known as one of the finest African American clinical psychologists on the East Coast. Then you have me, Ronnie Goldman, a young hotshot lawyer with Goldman and Sachs. Cocksure, hot dogging, sassy, brassy, and at the same time, an unwitting fool, in way over his head. They brought me in to settle the accounts, and I was happy. 
for what I imagine to be another stepping stone to a bright future. Dave Cobra, ex-Special Forces. You could say that Cobra had a special talent. His uniquely low IQ means that he has a high resistance to homosexual charms and manipulation. High, but not without limits. He'd seen combat all over the world, from the African Congo to Columbine. On the list of men you'd expect to see reduced to blubbering piles of oatmeal and feces, Cobra was at the very bottom. Also, the intelligence list. Professor Ignacio Bad Tanman, a brilliant analytical mind in the field of neuroscience, Bad Tanman was on the fast track to legendary status and was the youngest ever winner of the Schlitzman Prize at age 33. At age 34, he was introduced to Dr. Manslave. After a subsequent nervous breakdown and hospitalization, he was ousted from the scientific community and took the only job he could get at the Heather Hills facility. And finally, Dr. Homunculus Manslave. Calculating, hypnotic, psychopathic, Manslave was a prominent practitioner of medicine. Until one day, his patients started dying from unknown causes. By the time he was found out, Manslave had murdered over 30 people, including children. When asked why he did it, Manslave replied, now there's the $10 question. What makes a man worth killing? Oh, uh, Dr. Manslave will be right back after these messages. Pussy, pussy cream, pussy cream. Fuck the world. Forget understanding cunts, Karen. The human existence weirdly only really loves dick. Cecil Fielder at the plate. He looks hungry. McDonald's is a place to rock. Young Fielder on the mound. I'm gonna take you deep. McDonald's will make you fat. Come on, bitch. They serve quarter pounders. They will put pounds on you. Fielder kicks and delivers. Struck him out. I should have never bought you, you fat piece of shit. The McDonald's hamburgers are the worst. Dad, where are you going? To McDonald's. Sorry for checking out. Oh, uh, that's all right. Sir. What you want is what you get. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Steve, Steve Perillo, Perillo, for Perillo, Steve's. There's a direct connection between earthquakes and homosexuality. Let me take you back 5,000 years in time to Israel. Perillo's 10 day Israel vacation includes Jerusalem, Bethlehem, Nazareth, Galilee, and so much more. Israel, you'll love it from the first shalom. Send for your free Israel brochure, oh and also ask for our Italy and Hawaii brochures and DVD. Visit GorillaTours.com or call 1-800-255-5000 now. My, my, my daughter showed me how just this morning. My daughter showed me how just this morning. My daughter showed me. My daughter showed me how just this morning. Daughter soft, huh? So it's pretty. Daughter cool. Yes. Now back to Million Dollar Extremes feature presentation, Manslave. Dr. Manslave. Smear the sky. The story begins at the beginning. I represented actually Tom Cruise and Gene Hackman in the firm. Not, not I wasn't their, their lawyer, but um, yeah, and I know, I know various judges, I know Judge Dredd, you know, I, you can name it across the board and they know me, looking to get involved in the situation, deep, no 
Kenosha. I need to know right now. Are you ready? Are you the man? Are you qualified? Yeah, I've got quite a number of qualifications. I think I'm ready for this job. I highly doubt you are. You hear the uh, HLR? The Harvard Law Review? I don't know if you heard of that. Harvard Law Review. I was president of that for um, almost eight years there. And, uh, you know, the attorney general warning that's on the side of the cigarette packs. I, I'm not the attorney general, but I, uh, I wrote most of those there. I'm ready for anything, I think. I'm, I'm prepared. I, I dealt with uh, men like this all the time, very manipulative. After I did the bar, I was involved with, with a man for a very long time. He treated me and my family very bad. I kind of caught the raw end of that. But, um, but anyway, I can deal with just about anything, I think. I, I think you're my man. Really? Yes, yeah. you start Monday. It's a go? Can you do it? Absolutely. All right. Well, Thank you very much. All right, so when do I start? Deep within the island compound, Professor Bad Tan Man was waiting to brief me on the case. Bad Tan Man was a legendary brain scientist who suffered a career-ending nervous breakdown 13 years ago. He'd been overseeing the incarceration of Dr. Manslave ever since. Excuse me, uh, Professor Bad Tan Man? Necrosis of the flesh, 13 different pathologies, all of them combined in one man. Such is the, is the insanity of Dr. Manslave. Right. You caught me in the middle of an experiment. Okay. Um, you're here about Dr. Manslave, no doubt. His new uh, caretaker settling his accounts and whatnot. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, all right then. I'm sorry to interrupt you with whatever you had going on. Oh, oh. You too. Oh, yes. Oh, wait. Was she a great big fat person? Um, I I get what you're doing here, and I don't like it. Okay, sir. All right, sir. Well, let me tell you. Let me fill you in on something. Dr. Manslave's gonna do a whole lot worse to you. Really? You understand? I'm pretty confident with this. You think so? You think you're ready for it, huh? I'm telling you, I think I got this guy. Well, right this way. I suspected Manslave and the professor were linked somehow, in some secret way, possibly having shared some important experience over the years. I entertained a mild curiosity as to the true nature of their relationship. Had they engaged in stimulating conversation as intellectual equals? Or were, perhaps, things of a darker nature at play? Let me tell you something, Slick. You ain't been where I've been. Keep that spike on. Where you been, man? Where you been? You been where I've been, huh? <clears throat> when I was uh, Professor Emeritus at Wesleyan University. The Burns. Sarah Lawrence. The Burns good, isn't it? You sick fuck. <clears throat> if you're gonna go puke, why don't you go to the men's room like a fucking kid, you sailor suck punk? I've sat through enough of your shit. I'm gonna sit on your face and I'll show you what a real man feels like. Listen to me, man slave. I've watched you warp the minds of men. And all this time I've been resolute. smoke two cigarettes like he smokes two dicks. The both of you guys have been sticking your dick in his mouth for the last fucking 12 years. That's confidential. No, it's not confidential. I have it all here in the file. Larry and fucking, uh, what's your name? Cobra. Cobra? Whatever it is. Keep Dave Cobra. Keep that thing on. Bottom line is, is he's here in his I was stippy. born to be a cop. Dave Cobra. You can read about me in your file. Pussy Curry. Keep it professional. Don't let him do this to you. 
Yeah, you guys must have known each other in high school, or at least because uh, when I could try to mark each other, you and the big bully cop man. You must have some sort of Napoleon complex there with your fucking big swinging dick. I don't even feel it ain't so big and swinging, huh? Holding that pike up to my mouth like I'm a fucking puppet. I'll put my arm up your ass, and I'll work you like a puppet. Yeah, you see? You see how the handcuffs work when they're around your dick and your balls, huh? You see how the jig works when it's in your ass, huh? You see how your ear works when I got a Q-tip in your mouth, huh, nigga? I just wanna, I, I gotta know what the plan is for this guy. The plan is whatever he says from the word go. <laughs> you got the word go, man. One, two, three, Mario Kart, go, huh? Wario Stadium, you hit the fucking turnpike, you fly all the way. There's no way you can get back if you use the fucking shrinky thing when they're over the jump. You can't get back after that. There's no fucking way you got an N64. You got four controls. It doesn't matter if you got four fingers in your ass. It doesn't matter none, motherfucker. You lose. You're gone. I feel stupid. I feel real stupid. Don't feel stupid. The thing is, is this guy gets in your head. This is how he works. He's been doing a tap dance. It, for a long time. He's been doing a s slow... <clears throat> strolling silver tap dance. You know what I know about this clown right here? What do you know? You know what I know about this little man? What do you know about the bad tan man? You want me to tell you what I know about you? Tell me what you know if you think you're so smart you can get to me. Tell me right now. Why don't you tell me, you faggot? You know what I know about you, manslave? What do you know about me? You know what I know about this guy, Goldman? I think I do know what you know about him. But I'm not gonna say it. What do you think he knows about him? About how he knows I have him? no idea. No idea. No idea. Manslave will return after these messages. Chemistry. Create talk. Wait maniacally. Invoke sorcery. Then realize why. Thank God it's Friday night and I just Now, I'm very confident that we'll be standing tall, tall at the end of this. Tall, but we have to tall. understand the economy, the economy is bad for us, economy. just like everybody else. That's why I think now is the time for these initiatives. Initiatives. It is. That's a lot of change. It is change. I agree, John. 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 But these are John. times of change. 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 As we study leadership, we'll refer to these change. components. Change. What you see here on Blue Ocean TV is a collection of channels from around the world. world. Of you watching have led us through changes before. It was your ability to adapt, adapt adjust, adapt, transform transgender, that has created gender, the great gender. company we have today. This is not to say what we did in the past was wrong, Acne scars, merely that times bars, are changing. Bars, new technology, web, web, new ways to communicate. Rooms, rooms, we have some of the brightest minds in the industry. Brightest minds in the industry. Brightest minds in the industry. It is those bright minds that will position us for future success, just like they always have before. I want to thank you for your hard, hard work and your loyalty. Suck. Uh. Uplifting stock music and a logo, slowly zooming in and fading out. The internet has no age limit. Introducing an easy way for seniors to connect online. I never thought I could use a computer. Now I'm looking at photos of my grandkids and I love it. Connected living. Connected living. Connected living. Connected living. Connected. Fucking shit. And now back to our feature presentation. Yeah! Yeah! I immediately knew that the professor's attempts to rehabilitate or understand Manslave were a cleverly rehearsed charade. What I did not know at the time was that Professor Bad Tan Man was playing a high-stakes game of cat and mouse. A game he could not afford to lose. 
So, uh, Dr. Mansley. Yes. <coughs> For the benefit of our new friend, Mr. Goldman here, I'd like to go through one of our uh, word associations that you seem so fond of. Yes. All right. Ah, uh, yes. Let's have it. The exercise hasn't worn thin on you yet, has it, sir? Nay. All right, man, five. Simple word association, uh, typical of your, you know, psychiatric evaluations. Nothing fancy going on here. Standard, I've been through this before, yeah. All right, man, slave. Story time. You're going to give me a raw shock. A raw shock? Give me a written Russia. Are you, uh, are you a, uh, are you a psychiatrist? I may have dabbled in those arts before. Hmm. What do you think about, uh, what do you think about Carl Jung? He said there was a lot you could, uh, deduce about a person based on their, uh, sex. Do you believe in the collective unconscious? I hear the call, I, I answer it. Do you answer the call of Cthulhu? Yes. What do you do when he beckons you? I go towards the blackness. I don't recall. I recall. I recall what you did with Jack Jack upstairs after the prom. I can't remember, Manslay. I know you recall it too. Story time. Finish the story with JJ. I don't want to expose you before you have the chance to defend yourself. If you're gonna keep puffing, why don't you just puke? All right, man slave. Fire, Mr. Captain. Story time. It was a sunny day. It must have been about 68 degrees. Man slave, please, we have to go through these quickly. <laughs> story time. Story time. Okay. You see what I'm dealing with here, Goldman? Yeah. There's another thing I'm dealing with, though. Does everybody hate me here and not want me here? Am I not here to help? <clears throat> October 17th. <laughs> Is there anything uh, you want to get your, get off your chest there, Mansley, before we begin? I've been to New York, and I've been to see you when you were practicing with the Oliver and Morgan. Or do you forget so soon? Do you? Let's do the exercise. Story time. Blueberry pancakes. Are you really a doctor? Let's assume that you are for the sake of argument. What do you make of what <coughs> When you talk about blueberry pancakes, you're probably referring to anal pancakes. I've never had those two words put together in a sentence in yeah, my life. Do you like it? It's not the fact that I like it. It's the fact that I need it. October 17th. All right, we'll just write child rape there. Your I didn't say answer. child rape, I said blue bag pancakes. We'll talk about your typical answer there, child rape. That's usually what you answer there for any, almost any word is child rape. Very creative. <clears throat> October 17th. Kindness was met with hostility, hostility with glee. Every question was met with a question. Manslave would allow us to pose hypotheses only for the pleasure of shooting them down effortlessly. I could feel myself being pulled deeper and deeper into his world, his charisma, his power. I was cold, and I knew it wouldn't be long before I wore him, like a coat. All right, Goldman, I think we need to regroup. Thank you, Professor. In all my years of, uh, of dealing with this sort of thing, I frankly, I don't know what to do, and well, I can't believe he's been in a facility like this for this long. He's been well, where else will take him? That's, that's your answer for this? <coughs> what are you going to do with him? Put him to death? Uh, you guys are going to keep him down here forever. That's your answer. This is the only place left on planet Earth for manslave. Huh? Don't need this job! This is the only thing Cobra can do. He's immune to Manslave's mind games. I can games. keep him there. 
That's that's fine with me. I could keep. I can stay with him. Keep him I down. Can, I can try to work with him. All right, and I'll work with him. I'll see if I can fix him, will you? Can't fix manslave. Couple of wrenches. You can fix anything. Uh, he's got a couple screws loose. All I hear is a, a bolt that needs tightening. We'll use him like a trash can for a while. But I'm gonna work out. I'm gonna listen to his story. I gotta hear him out. I have to work this out and see if I can fucking mold again together something that's like a normal human being. Look at you, the New York City lawyer. It's I mean, always about that. Why? He's got every answer. Right now. He read every chapter and it's all in there. Yeah. Isn't that right, boy? Yeah, and I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna heal every Oh yeah. I've heard it every single time. How many people came through here and dealt with this? 27. 27. Ooh. Including yourself. You think you can lead oh. Shut the fuck up, man slave! Shut the fuck up! There's nothing that I haven't known. When I grew up, you men were still freaks. How old is he? 30! 30 years old? 30 years old! Alright, well I'm 60. So why is he telling me things that happened to me when I was 10 years old? Cuckoo! Oh my god. I want to get to know you a little bit. I'm here to help you, so I'm pretty much the only friend you got. Why don't you give me a little bit of that, too? Thanks. See? I'm there to help. I trust you now. You trust me? I trust you Well, more. then why don't you start opening up a little bit? I can open up for you. But you gotta tell me a few things about yourself that I don't know. And... Okay, I, I'm, I'm, I'm up for that, but... Tell me about your father. My father or my stepfather? Tell me about your father. I don't want to talk about Please my stepfather. Please, Tell me about I, your father! I don't want to talk... You tell me about... My father didn't do shit. All he did was fucking torment my life and fucking make my life a living hell when I was a kid. Had he ever abused you? Oh, shut up. You answer my question. I don't want to answer you. This isn't about me, me and slave. Did your father beat you when you were a child? My father was a carny from the side. To my one question, why you came here from Harvard or well, Harvard and the Law Review, yes? I see by the patterns on your tie which fraternity you belong to. You don't think I was in Skull and Bones? <laughs> you fool. You still haven't answered my question. You need to tell me about your father. Things that you haven't told anybody, not even your diary and the moleskin. <laughs> I know you're right in that. I know you use your disposable big fountain pens to write in that. I know your type. Too cheap to buy a good waterman. <laughs> Ink's too thick, it bleeds through the pages. I'll give you that, but... Maybe your father's dead. Maybe he's been dead for years. Maybe he's been dead. Or maybe he's the, maybe he's the professor. Maybe that's the case, manslave. Maybe he couldn't make you love him, no matter what he bought you, no matter what he showed you about life, about liberty, about justice. Oh, yeah, you're so smart. Yeah, you. Yeah, that's it. Actually, yeah, you're right. That's Wait, a, that's my father. Oh. Listen, I need you to light that up. Okay. I light it. Light it. Oh, yeah, I'm lighting it. Light it. Oh, that thing's too short, man, sleep. It's not short. You gotta light it long. Now give me a little drag of that because it's been a long time. It's been a long time since I've seen my son. Ash. Smoke on that man, sleep. And really suck hard. I'll take it from here. Light it again! Fuck! I don't know what to do! I can't, I can't light the fucking cigarette, I don't have a lighter. I've lived in the Taj Mahal, and I've lived in the gutter. But there's one thing I've learned about human beings. Is that they can be built, and they can be brought down. I want you to blow the security guard.
culture. Can you lead the underground revolution electronically? Occupy Tumblr. Thunder Pursuit. Fuck you. This is it. 83 days out of the year leading up to this moment. Sunday. The San Remo Greenbacks face off against the La Juliette Humble Bugglers for the Crown League Cup. This is the one you've been waiting for, folks. Red team versus the blue team. Watch the quarterback throw a point. He'll be the blowjob baron in the locker room later with the coach Nick Nolte from Blue Chips. Watch dogfighting ex-cons run and throw a ball real far. Watch thugs touch. Watch thugs touch. Drew Bledsoe. John Yellow Teeth Elway. Tom. If it wasn't for the NFL, I'd be a faggot. Brady. Michael Vick. Drew Bledsoe. Barry Poppins. Nick Cage. John Boyd, Cockmaster, Zool, Gozer, the Gatekeeper, the Keymaster, Drew Bledsoe, Football, Bitch, Football, Football Time. Tensions grew in the cell as the professor and I discussed the best way to deal with what Manslave was feeding us. Bad Tan Man's prickly and reluctant manner had dissolved into elemental panic. The notion of a rational compromise or workable game plan had long since faded in the distance. And on the horizon? Raw emotion, primal confusion, sheer insanity. Manslave's mind made real. This is what he does, Goldman. This is what Manslave is known for. 27 times I've seen this. Corny, this is what he does. This is what 27 times. Corny, 20, 20. This is what he does. This is what he does, Goldman. I've seen him do this 27 times before. 27 times, okay? You understand? He's not getting in my head. This is what he does! This is what he does, Goldman. I've seen this before. 27 times. He's gone through pieces of shit like you, like fucking... He's in your mind right now. He's not getting in my head. I'm trying to tell you I can handle this guy. I knew it from the moment I saw you. You cocky motherfucker. <laughs> He's in your mind. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> you cocky motherfucker, Goldman. He's got you right where he wants you. You understand? You're in the palm of his hand. This is You're nothing. a little flavor crystal in his iced tea. This is nothing. I can deal with this fucking guy. I've dealt with this plenty of times. You're a professor. You're not me. I can deal with this type of shit. You... 27 times! You've never seen this before! I've seen this! I've fucking... I've 27 times! You're not me! You cocky mother... You're a professor! You cocky motherfucker, Goldman! I've... <laughs> That's enough, man! Slide. That's enough! That's enough! That's enough! You've had your fun! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! 27 times he's gone through pieces of shit like you, like you toilet paper! I can handle him! I can handle this guy! What the fuck is wrong with you? I can deal with this shit! I've been through this sort of thing before, it's not a big deal. I can deal with this guy, he's manipulative, he's gotten in your head, and I can fucking tell every... You're a fucking pussy! Okay? You're nothing! I'm sorry. 
You've never seen this before. I've seen this guy. I've been dealing with this sort of thing for a while. You can't deal with this guy. Let me come in. Let me work it out. I can deal with this. I've worked with it. I can do this. You just need to, you need to step back. You need to step back and slow down. You need to get yourself together. He, he works off things like this. He works off weakness. Right, right. Slow down. Take a step back. I'll deal with this. I'll deal with this. I can deal with it. I'm a car dealer. Stay tuned for the conclusion of Dr. Manslave. And now, the conclusion of Dr. Bad Slave. Customer! In the end, just as the professor had seen 27 times before, the all obliterating blackness of Manslave's soul won out. Like newborn babies, the professor and I yielded before his infinite sickness. We prayed for mercy, but knew there would be none. Oh, the cruelty of my new master! The impossible cruelty! Mr. Manslave, I don't feel like I have any money. You have me and you have the doctor right here. That's right. What say you, Mr. Bad Tan Man? I don't know. You say it. What do you want me to say? Say anything that comes to your mind the first thing. Everybody can come. You're all invited. I invited you. What did you do to us? I made you my men. I made you my men. You've learned well. You've learned very well. It's of course true that Manslave, like the Marquis de Sade, took much and gave little. But what little he did give opened the doorway to a new spiritual plane, a private island in the far recesses of the psyche. Manslave carried on in his evil ways. There was little his captors could do in the way of actually holding him, because he was so cunning and resourceful. He would come and go from the facility as he pleased, plotting elaborate escapes only to be recaught weeks later, on purpose, for fun, committing unspeakable atrocities in the meantime. This caused much stress and agony for Bad Tan Man, less out of frustration at being foiled, and more of the feelings of loneliness and desperate queer love that the manslave provoked in the old homo. As for myself, well, let's just say I'm watching this video right now because I'm you. I am you. You are me. I'm Ronnie Goldman and you're Ronnie Goldman too. I am you and you are me. You are me. I am you. You're me. You're me. You are me and I am you. I'm Ronnie Goldman. You are too. You're me. You are me. I'm you. You're me and I'm you. I'm you. I'm you. I'm Ronnie Goldman. You're Manslave. I'm Manslave. I'm Ronnie Goldman. You're me. I'm you. You're me. 
is sitting down thinking about life and the meaning of memories and uh, just uh, mortality, actually. Thinking of reasons for disasters happening or... Wait, or it came before that. Yes. It came when I was considering a god playing some sort of role in a universe and he's like like a like playing playing with this universe he's uh they're infinite they go on forever and um uh it didn't go as he planned so with with one swipe of his hand, the universe is destroyed. Just, just, everything is gone. Me, you know, everything is destroyed, and then he goes on to a different one. And it's not that he's destroying universes to kill people for any specific reason. He just does it, just erasing everything that happened so he could do the same thing on another place, or something like that. And I was thinking, nothing really matters because the lives of people in no way, shape, or form could ever mean anything to some sort of creator or great architect. I mean, nothing, wherever they may reside. If they are, then it seems to me they're just playing Chinese checkers and just having fun uh, picking which ways people are going to die.